Tornado victims, watch out. Scammers are looking to take advantage of you. Better Business Bureau's Whitney Adkins from Louisville joining us now. And Whitney, I know we think of storm chasers. We think of Mark Weinberg. I guess we <laughs> should call these folks post storm chasers. What are they trying to do out there as they follow these storms and scam victims? Yes, absolutely, Scott. Um, yes, you're absolutely right. Unlike Mark, uh, these folks do not have your best interests in heart. So these are the folks that we call, that we at the Better Business Bureau call storm chasers, are the ones who are really just fly-by-night uh, scammers who are looking to make a quick buck off of victims who have suffered from property damage due to the storms. So they're going to swoop in on areas um, like our own city that have experienced um, severe weather. Weather, um, and are seeing the uh, fallout from that severe weather and they're going to come in and they're going to promise to, um, you know, promise individuals that they will take care of the damage quickly, um, you know, that they're great to work with and you think everything's great. Um, uh, you know, you'll pay them up front for, for a job, whether it's a roofing repair or something similar. And then you never hear from them again. Um, yeah. They, they kind of disappear, um, or they may do a little bit of work and then just again disappear. Um, and and you know you, you have a hard time getting that money back once it's gone. So those, when we say storm chasers, yeah, that's who we're looking out for. You know, you say pay up front, and that's the big scare there. But I think some of them don't want the total up front. They're a little Correct. more sly than that, and they say, well, for supplies, I got to run and get right now the twelve hundred dollar bill or whatever. I need four hundred right now, and I'll be back back and then you can pay the rest later. So they'll they'll try to get what they can. Is that true? Yes, that is true. That is absolutely true. They're going to try to, as you said, get what they can out of the victims um, before the victims catch on, before, um, you know, their own poor reputation might catch up with them. Um, and then a lot of times these folks aren't even uh, local to to our area, right? They're not necessarily, they're not likely from Louisville. Um, again, they're just, they're following the weather um, and they're following the storms and they're looking for the victims of those storms. And they're going to try to get as much money out of, as they can out of those victims. And then they're gonna hit the road um, with that money um, and, and no, you know, little to no work done on the damaged property and they're off to yeah. uh, do the next victim, unfortunately. Yeah, Whitney, last question. I think people are even maybe more vulnerable now because it is hard to get workers to complete mm -hmm. jobs like this when you're talking sure. about repairs and home improvements. So if somebody says, boy, I'm here, I can do it now. Mm -hmm. I mean, just beware of that quick fix. Yes, very much so. Um, you know. As, as people who have, who have suffered property damage, you're already you're already in a victim in one sense, and that's hard. You don't want to be a, a victim again um, of a scammer. So there are steps we can take to protect ourselves. One, you can, uh, before you agree to hire anyone, check them out first. Do a little bit of homework. You can visit uh, the Better Business Bureau's website, bbb.org, to see, for one, if they're accredited with us, or to read any reviews that we might have on them, any complaints or reports of bad behavior on this person or company's part. So do your research there. Um, ask for reviews, ask for recommendations and referrals. These are all steps that we can take before we hire someone so that we can rest assured that the person that we do hire, if we need someone to repair damage, is someone that we can trust um, to do the job to do it well and to not leave you hanging, so to speak. Oh, well, thanks so much. We appreciate your time. Whitney Adkins with the Louisville Better Business Bureau. And you can find all of these tips to avoid those storm chasing scammers out there on our website, WDRB.com.